This is your five-minute explanation of Ingenious. Let's start with the basics. The game from Cosmos is for one to four players ages eight and up. The average game time is 30 to 45 minutes with the objective of the game to have the highest, lowest score at the end of gameplay. Sound confusing? It's not, let's find out. The game contains the board, four scoreboards with six colored pegs for each board, one tile bag, four tile stands, and 120 game tiles. To set up the game, place all of the tiles into the bag. Each player gets their own scoreboard and tile stand. Set up the board in the middle of the game area. Each player then draws six tiles from the tile bag at random and sets up their tiles onto their stands. Depending on the number of players, we'll determine which parts of the board are in play. Two players use only this area. Three players use only this area. And four players use the entire board. The youngest player goes first and then proceeds clockwise around the board. On your turn, you need to place one of the tiles from your tile stand onto the board where there are two empty hexagonal spaces. One of the two symbols on your tile must match and be adjacent to the same symbol on the board. In the first round, all players must play a tile that is next to one of the six starting symbols already on the board. After the first round, players may place their tiles wherever there is a legal move. Once you place your tile, you mark your scoreboard with the appropriate amount of points and then pick a new tile from the tile bag. This ends your turn and the next player's turn begins. Play continues until there are no spaces left on the board to play. Now let's take a look at how you score. When a player places their tile, starting with one of the two symbols on that tile, count outward for each symbol that is the same. This can potentially be in five different directions. Let's take a look at a few examples. If it's your turn and you do not have any tiles that can be played, you must show your tiles to the rest of the group so that they can also make sure that you didn't miss anything. If everyone agrees that there is no legal plays, you may discard your six tiles and draw six new ones. Once your last tile has been played, everyone looks to their scoreboards to figure out who is the winner. Each player finds the symbol that has the lowest score on their board. That is their score for the game. The person who has the highest, lowest score is the winner. Make sense? If there is a tie, then you need to go to the next lowest score on the board in order to break the tie. So you can see, it is an interesting strategy game. You could say, it's ingenious how they came up with the score. So, now you know the basics. Let's play.